It's curious. After all the wonders and monstrosities we've witnessed, waking beside you seems more unreal than any of it. I've forgotten what it felt like to greet a sunrise without fear of it being my last. Soon, I'll deliver the crown to Mistra and be rid of the orb at long last. I'll be free. We have all the time in the world for that. But first, there's something I wanted to talk to you about. I've decided to drop this whole gale of water deep business. It's a bit pompous, don't you think? You're now in the company of plain old Gael Decarius, the most brilliant wizard of intentionally limited renown. At your service. There remains only one matter to be resolved. For me, at least. I love you. More than I've ever loved anyone, mortal or immortal. And you've proven your love for me in more ways than even the greatest mathematicians would dare to count. I understand your purpose lies here. But I fear if I return to Waterdeep alone, my heart would remain here with you. And so, if you're at all amenable to the idea, I thought I could... perhaps... stay. There might even be room for two Dakariuses in Baldur's Gate. I suppose I am. Tara would be delighted, not to mention my mother. But I'd be just as happy without such ceremony. So long as we're together. You will? Oh, thank goodness for that. We'll need to make the arrangements, of course. The Dakarius clan is scattered far and wide, and you'll have invites of your own to send out, I'm sure. But that's all to come. The day is young, and there are thousands more days ahead of us. This seems pretty rare. You're quite certain I look acceptable. Our adventures rarely lend themselves to luxury, or cleanliness, for that matter. It's been some time since I've made such an effort. That's a relief. I wasn't sure if I'd made too much of an effort. Perhaps not enough. I won't keep you to myself for too long. But while I have you, I want to say thank you for encouraging me to attend this evening. I confess, when I left Waterdeep, there was a part of me afraid that I might regret my decision. But I never have. Chance to see life through your good eye as well as my own. It's been everything I hoped it would be. I'm delighted to be here amongst friends again. But part of me is reluctant to step away from our new life, even for such a gathering as this. Given the rest of the guest list, I'd say you're not the only one. Thankfully, your temptations tonight can be indulged. Good food, good wine, and excellent company. I don't know where to begin in telling people what we've been up to. I suspect they won't believe me. What can I say? You're an excellent teacher. Our lives are certainly a far cry from the one I once pictured. Even now, with the orb's fires quelled by Mistra at last, I scarcely dare believe it. <laughs> Before we met, I fear I was rather stuck in my ways. And stuck inside my tower with a world-shattering orb of magic sealed within my chest, to be fair to myself. I was afraid to so much as dream of a night like this. To hope that my life might amount to more than lonely, bitter disappointment. And then I found you. Standing here, now, I no longer see the people we were. Frightened, desperate, alone. 
We changed. We survived. And we did it together. I've missed them. I've missed this. And I'm quite certain they're as delighted to see you as you are to see them. Speaking of which, I think it's high time you bless someone other than myself with your inimitable presence. I love you. Now go on, before I change my mind. Oh, hello, darling. I wasn't sure you'd make it. Yes, you are a very social sort, aren't you? Gale's never been kept so busy in all his days. No wonder his studies are suffering. But... Such is the way of love, isn't it? I'd like that very much. Thank you, darling. Now, enjoy your party. You've quite earned it, if the balladeers are to be believed. <laughs>